welcome back to the channel. We're here at Sioka Ford of Souderton to check out what's behind me, a 2024 Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. First time we've seen one of those on the channel. Color here is carbonized gray, black leather interior, maxed out with massive options. So well, what I want to know from you today is, what's the deal with this plug-in hybrid? Is this kind of action I want to roll down the road in? Is this competitive enough with the almighty Toyota RAV4 Prime, probably SE trim at this price point. Now, before we get into it, I do want to apologize, but it's been very hot out today and our, our microphones have been going in and out. So instead of having a constant in and out sound for this review, we're doing this with external microphones only. So I want to apologize to you ahead of time for that. But let's get into this thing and you can let me know what you think. So let's dig in. Front end of the Escape plug-in hybrid. Here we go, carbonized gray, looking good. Full spread of LED lighting on the front of this vehicle. LED turn signals, daytime run lamps and headlights along with the fog lamps. Looking good, functionality in the grill top and bottom. As we come around here, the carbonized gray now with the flat black around the wheel wells and down below on the door sills. Let me know what you think about that. Wheel and tire set up 18 inch. Machined aluminum alloy wheel, Ford badge on the center cap, standard brake and rotor package. Now these wheels are wrapped in Michelin, Primacy all season tires, 225 on the width, a 60 series sidewall 18s, all four corners, front wheel drive. Moving on out, carbonized gray. We do have some chrome around the door windows let me know what you think about that and then as we come in closer we're going to go with our plug-in charge port right here on the left front fender we'll go over those numbers here in a little bit and then we are color matched on the side view mirror no turn signals but 360 degree view cameras color matched on the front and rear door handle left side fuel filler cap up top we do have a roof spoiler coming off the top and then we have a color match shark fin antenna with a panoramic moonroof Rear end of the Escape, we have the roof spoiler coming off the top. Then we have the wiper down below on the glass. Would have been nice for them to stick that up. Full spread of LED lighting on the back as well. Escape in the middle. And then down below, we do have functional dual exhaust. And we do have a tow hitch. And this Escape can tow up to 1,500 pounds. We're under the hood of this Escape plug-in. And what do we have for a power plant? We have Ford's 2.5 liter. Atkinson cycle inline four cylinder hybrid engine mated to an electronically controlled CVT transmission. 210 net horsepower, 155 pound feet of torque. Like I mentioned, this vehicle can tow up to 1,500 pounds. MPGEs in combined driving, 101. Gas only in combined driving, about 40 miles per gallon. This vehicle's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. We're at the left front fender and the charge port door, and here we go. What we're looking at here is a 14.4 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack in this Escape plug-in hybrid. Now, once fully charged, you're going to get up to 37 miles of EV only driving, but more importantly, it's going to extend the range of your gas tank to up to 520 miles. Of course, that all depends on weather, terrain, and your driving habits. And as far as charging times go, at a level two charger at home, it's going to take a little over three hours to get a full charge on this battery. Let me know what you think about those numbers. Before we get into the interior of this Escape plug-in, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much? Well, you know what? Plug-in hybrids are really expensive, and this one is no different. Base price for the 24 Escape plug-in hybrid front-wheel drive, $40,500. Now, this vehicle has a lot of options on it, and we'll go over those when we check out the window sticker. But once we add in the options and a destination and delivery charge, of $1,495 from Ford's Louisville, Kentucky assembly plant. We have a total MSRP from the factory of $48,615. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we'll move on in. We're gonna go soft touch up top. This nice silver trim with the design in it into our 
brushed aluminum door handle, nice soft armrest with the cross stitch, grab handle flat black on our switch gear, three memory seat settings for the driver, no power fold mirrors though. Down below, nice large door pocket. We do have the optional B&O sound system in here. And then in here, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. The all season mats are in the vehicle. As we come back out, full power for the driver and the front passenger, but the driver gets the power lumbar. And now we have ebony leather with the light gray cross stitch. And then we have a nice diamond stitch insert looking good. Nice and soft headrest, nice and soft. Very nice and clean looking interior. Passenger door panel, same as the driver, except you don't get the memory seat settings. Dash, we're gonna go soft touch, more silver trim into your heat and air vent, and then nice large glove box. Infotainment system, we have an iPad style 13.2 inch Sync 4 system. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, pinch to zoom, incredible. Right here, no problem at all. We can go back to home. We can have our map set up. We have our Sirius XM as well as other radio stations. Bluetooth, your phone, settings. You have your features where you can go through your drive modes right here. You got normal mode, eco, sport, and slippery. So there you have it right there. We're gonna stay, whoop, we're gonna stay in eco for today's drive. And then you have your EV modes, where you have auto EV, EV now, or EV later. And you have a little explanation of what each one of those does in a little tool tip, which I do like in here. So there you have both of those explanations here on the video. But nicely done, we can go back to home, Again, we can go back to features. We have our driver assistance. We have our power flow meters right here so we can see what the electric batteries are doing. We have our towing. App right there, sorry about that. Add a trailer, select a trailer, manage your trailers and all that good stuff. Again, lifestyle hitch on the back here, 1500 pounds. Then you got your apps. There's your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So it's a nice system here in this Sync 4. We go to reverse, huge backup camera with 360 degree view, nice trajectory. You can go ahead and you can change your views as well that you may want to see. So that's a nice touch. So overall, it is a really nice infotainment system. As we move on down, two heat and air vents, four way hazards engine auto stop start as your push button start excuse me and then we have a parking assist cameras max defrost and then redundancies for our drive modes volume button down further wireless charging pad USB A, USB C, and a 12 volt here is the dial to go through this electronically controlled cvt with low gear we have a spot for some change we have our electronic emergency brake engine auto stop start on or off or excuse me, auto vehicle hold on or off. Then two cup holders and a third, maybe a cappuccino holder there. And then the Ford key fob, unlock, lock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, Ford badge on the back. And then armrest, nice and soft with the stitching, open it up. And we have a nice big area for storage. Escape steering wheel, nice leather wrap wheel, nice 10 and two notches. Ford badge on the horn button, nice round bottom wheel, plenty of room to get in and out of this Escape. It's a very spacious driver cockpit area. Flat black on our switch gear. Now, on the left side, we got our adaptive cruise, as well as our voice commands, volume. And on the right here, we're going to go with our phone commands, controls for the digital dash, seek for your music, no paddles. On the left, adaptive high beams and turn signals. On the right, front and rear wiper. Down over here on the left side, we do have pop the tailgate, pop your fuel, fuel filler cap, adjust your headlights and your fog lamps, bright and dim the dash. And then we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel. So Ford has you covered there. And then you have your full digital dash right here. And of course, you can go through 
additional information in the center if you would like. And when you change your drive modes here on the dash, you also get some changes. So eco everything just goes to a shade of green, sport and slippery, and it goes to like a bluish wet color and back to eco for when we're gonna drive it's back to green on the dash. So that's pretty cool. But like I said, pretty easy and you got your EV coach too. That'll coach you up on how to drive most ec economically here in this vehicle. Overhead console, place for your shades. Here are the, the um, controls for the panoramic roof. If you want your dome line to come on off and you open and close the door, just don't do anything. And they'll come on and off when you open and close the door. And now, over here, glass to the right, shade. You hit that, shade goes back. Halfway, hit it again for it to go back all the way. And then you can open up the glass. Wind buffeter comes up and then it'll go all the way back and then you can close the glass. You can also push up to tilt it and then you bring your shade back and of course it's gonna stop halfway again. And then you have to hit it a second time for it to come all the way back. And there we go. And now our sun visor has our garage door programmables right there. You bring it on down. Mirror and a light, the slide, yes. Getting in the back seat of the Escape, I have the seat set for my driving position. In we go, nice and easy to get in. Plenty of room for my head, shoulders, and knees at five foot 11. We have the leather all the way down, no seat pocket behind the driver. We do have one behind the front passenger. Command center in the back, we have two heat and air vents, two USB-Cs for connectivity, rear door panels, same action as the front, except instead of soft touch up top, we have hard black plastic. And then in the back here, nice leather, same as the front with the insert design in the diamonds, quilt with the cross stitch. And then nice and soft on the armrest, two cup holders. So they got you covered back here for comfort and it feels pretty good here in the back of this Escape. Getting in the tailgate area of the Escape, you can pop it from the dash or from your key fob or come to the back. Right underneath the C and escape, there's a button. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button. And now with the rear seats up, you got 37.5 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this escape. We do have our plug-in charge cord right here and your carpeted floor mats. We do have the all season escape floor mat in here, cargo mat. Then you open this up and we have a spare. So thank you, Ford, for the spare in this plug-in escape. In the back here, we have a 12 volt. So they got you set there, but we don't have a place back here to lower your rear seats. So you come to the back of the door and then you have this button right here. And that'll lower the seats down. And then we come around to the other side. We're gonna lower the seats down and now we're looking at 65.4 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this Escape. Escape window sticker, here we go. Sorry about the glare, but it all of a sudden decided to get really cloudy out. Carbonized gray is the color. Standard equipment across the top. There's all of our options and the big one, the plug-in hybrid premium package. Pricing. Made in Louisville, Kentucky. Total MSRP. Let me know what you think. Fuel economy estimates. Crash ratings. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're going down the road in this 24 Ford Escape plug-in hybrid 
And our first look at this one, it's an expensive one though at 48,006. That's some serious money for an escape. I mean, all the money and then some for an escape. But Ford has us maxed this out with, with, with just about everything you can get in, into an escape. We got the large SYNC 4 wireless CarPlay Android Auto built in nav, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Let me know if we should have ventilated seats in here. I think we may need them at this price point. Wireless charging, USB A. USB-A, USB-C connectivity front and back, drive modes, cup holders, full leather seating surfaces all the way around in this Escape. Head-up display, panoramic roof. I mean, they got everything in this thing. Plus, you get the plug-in action on the hybrid setup. Extend the range of your gas tank to around 520 miles of total range, which is a good number. Now, of course, that all depends on how you drive the weather and the terrain, but 520 is a good number. But if we're looking at the segment leader in this price range for the plug-in hybrid SUV, that would be Toyota's RAV4 Prime most likely at 48.6, we're probably looking at SE Prime. And at that level, we're getting rating of 600 miles to the tank on an SE Prime Toyota RAV4. So this isn't quite there yet with the RAV4, but it's close. And Ford has made a really good effort to try to get there with this plug-in Escape. And I'm loving all of the extras in this vehicle. I really am. We have a 19 foot turning radius, which is a good number. Boom, around we go. Down the road we go. We got the 2.5 liter inline Atkinson, Atkinson cycle plug-in hybrid engine. We got the e electronically controlled CVT. We are in eco mode, eco mode to try to maximize our MPGs again. 210 horsepower, not bad. 155 pound-feet of torque, not bad. Now the 210s in that number. That's engine plus the electric bat, uh, motors to get you to 210. Uh, otherwise, engine only. We're looking at. 163 and then 155 pound-feet of torque is an engine only torque number just so you know from what I could gather in this vehicle seats are extremely comfortable I got all the tech I need uh, sync 4 system is a great system but at the end of the day handles well rides well steers good don't have any problems there but at the end of the day It's up for you to decide whether 48,600 and change is too much money to pay for a Ford Escape plug-in hybrid. Now, you can get a base one. You're going to pay right around 4142 uh, for the base. So the question becomes: Do you go bare bones and save some money, or do you want these extra creature comforts? and save money. That's really what it, it's up for you to decide here. And it gets going down the road really well, but there is a lot to like about this vehicle. Um, I do like the head-up display. It sits a little bit low for my eye line, but it does give you the information and it's big enough to see, so that's good. Uh, and again, it all comes down at the end of the day to price and what you get. You got the wireless charging pad in here as well. So a lot of good stuff, but again, a lot of car sales, right? Money talks and BS walks, right? So it all depends on whether you would go for this Escape over a similar, similarly equipped RAV4 SE Prime segment leader uh, or Ford's uh, 
attempt on matching this the uh, RAV4 with this plug-in hybrid escape so let me know what you think I'm liking the carbonized gray I'm liking the vibe that this car is bringing uh, as as far as your safety uh, tech everything is in here R visibility is great out of all windows we got the blind spot monitoring cross traffic alert lane keep assist Ford co-pilot 360 LED lighting up front and out back so safety wise they got you covered all the way around in this so let me know what you think is this Ford Escape plug-in hybrid the action you would go with or is this just too expensive at 48.6 and you're going to go somewhere else with your hard-earned money you're going to stick with the RAV4 maybe go over to Honda or somewhere else let me know that in the comments as well but I do want to thank Sioka Ford of Souderton here in Souderton Pennsylvania for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Ford Escape plug-in hybrid SUV for review today I'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another Shabby's Rides video and I'll see all of you on the rebound Take care, everyone.